to talk about Kitchen Collabs. Kitchen Collabs has been a fun um, cooking uh, cooking collab live session um, series, and it's been so nice to have all of you join us each and every Sunday. And um, of course, tomorrow is another Kitchen Collabs day. I realize that you guys love seeing um, my friends. You you love meeting all the friends in my life, and you've only met two so far. You've met um, Chef Jordan Andino of Flip City, New York City, and you've also um, met, of course, Ate Judy Ann Santos of Judy Ann's Kitchen. And um, a lot of you are having fun with us, which really makes me happy. Napakasaya ko na na-enjoy ninyong lahat, yung kitchen collabs ko. Um, kung meron kayong mga request, please send your comments here or in any of my recent IG posts kasi nakikinig at nagpapasa talaga ako. And um, I think this Sunday, tomorrow, I just really want to take this time to introduce you to one of the chefs that I personally admire. He is a, um, yes, it's a he, first of all. And kung follow niyo ko, you would know that I love going to his restaurant. His restaurant um here in Metro Manila is one of my favorite restaurants. There's only about five restaurants on my favorite Metro Manila restaurants list, and he's definitely one of them. He is a Spanish, um, he's originally from Spain, but he's been living here for a while now. He got married to a Filipina, and, uh, and I love him. His mind is part crazy, and 100% genius. He does not just make um, experimental but familiar food, but he also, he loves playing around, but he's also so um, knowledgeable and so smart about the ingredients and processes that he does. So anyway, um, basta masarap yung pagkain niya, but at the same time, Kailangan natin ng ganito sa Pilipinas. We need somebody like him who goes out of his way to really um, experience, discover, and make use of so many different ingredients that you can find sa Philippines and all over the world. But um, ang dami ko nang sinabi, gusto ko lang introduce kayo sa kaibigan ko, Chef Chele Gonzalez of Gallery by Chele, formerly Gallery Basque. And um... Are you guys ready to meet him? Because I cannot wait um, to introduce you guys to him. He's so fun. He's so funny. He's like a mad scientist. He loves to make his kitchen and his restaurant his playground. So I just wanted you guys to meet him. And hopefully we can get him online live with us right now. I hope he's online. Bubulabugi natin siya. Line right now because I want to talk to him. I want to say hi before we do our kitchen collab tomorrow and have you meet him, Mr. Uh, Gonzalez. Hello, Gonzalez. Hi. Hello, everybody. Hey, you're here. How are you guys? How are you? We are so happy to meet you, Chef Chella. I I just tried. I was hoping you would be online. So thank yes. you for coming and saying hi. First of all, we have about a thousand one hundred. 1,200 um, people watching right now at this very so moment. happy Saturday to everybody. Happy lunch Saturday almost to everybody. Yes, Chef Chela. I am I'm really, you know, it's such an honor. Thank you for agreeing to, number one, for being my friend. Number two, for owning and putting up a gallery by Chela because it's the most amazing restaurant. Okay. And for they agree to cook my no, the one who is going to say thank you is me. <laughs> no, but really, it's an honor. I read so much about you before I even met you, and uh, and you know, I'm always in your restaurant in BGC. Yes, yes. Before before we close, you were the best uh, client. You can like three, four times, you know, and we miss you very much. And we miss everybody. I hope you know soon um, when we have all the environment safe, we can dine in. I heard maybe start next week, but. We might take for a while until we uh, we start to do dining. So right now we are in the middle of the service. Look, wow! We are preparing lunch for so many people, and we are uh, you know very happy you know to create a small different menu. Right now we are making you know some of my 
family and Spanish heritage uh, dishes. But for tomorrow with you, we're going to do one of our best innovations before we close the restaurant. Which so, is what? Eat tomorrow, chef. Well, as you mentioned, you know, I love to travel around the, the country. And one of my biggest, you know, already uh, almost 10 years in the Philippines. Almost one fourth of my life I have been here. So, so you are, um, you know, at heart now. Yes. You're married to course, a Yes, of course, in that time I met, you know, my wife Terry. And now I'm attached to the Philippines. I cannot leave. It's, it's, it's a magic force to attract me to, to here. So, don't what leave. Can I do? You have to you have to keep cooking this wonderful food and you know, you know I read okay this is first of all we have um, followers from Toronto we have Toronto and followers from Chicago and um, we have all of these amazing people here who would love to get to know you and your restaurant and what you do so Chef Chele um, who comes from Spain actually flew to the Philippines. Tell me if I'm right or if I'm wrong, but this is what I know about you, Chef. And I, I just found this out. You went all the way to the mountains, the Cordillera Mountains. And That's correct. Foraged. And you, you, what did you do there exactly? What was going on in your I think, you know, I, the, 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 the mind behind or you know, the process behind is really, you know, to, 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 to not to find, you know, things that I've never seen in my life before. You know, I think, Chef, we need to be like small kids. I'm going to go to the other room because it's hot here in the kitchen. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for bringing us. At least you can see the restaurant a little bit. Whoa! Uh, well, so, the restaurant, I miss it so much. So, the, the, you know, I think one of the things that it makes, you know, a chef, you know, uh, a chef is really to be curious, you know, to, to, to feel like a small kid, you know. I feel in the Philippines like a small kid that everything is new and I want to know more about it. And, you know, it's, it's something, you know, every time I go to the street or I go to the mountains, or I go to meet uh, any indigenous community, it's always, you know, something to learn. And that, you know, I can come to the restaurant, you know, and see something in, in my own perspective, you know, always respecting everything that we see. Uh, so it's for me, it's like adventure every day. The Philippines is an adventure every day. It's more fun in the Philippines. <laughs> it's more the hashtag more fun in the Philippines. But what sort of ingredients did you expect to find in a Saudi's Asian country or in the mountains? What do you want to speak when you take these trips? I think if you check, you know, even in the U.S., you know, many of the restaurants right now, they have a lot of uh, Asian and Japanese influence. Mm -hmm. So uh, here in, 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 in Southeast Asia and uh, in, in the Philippines, so many things to discover. A lot of things that, you know, they are endemic, seasonal, that we know, know about it. And that is fascinating us because we have, you know, a lab that we are going to cook tomorrow in that uh, space. And, you know, uh, one of the things that we try to bring to the table is those ingredients that are unknown, that they are endemic, and they are beautiful or organic seasonal from the Philippines. And tomorrow we are going to have, you know, uh, a hibiscus flower to make us something similar. You know what? When you told me about hibiscus flower, I said, Chef, Chef, Alec, would you love, would you, would you please cook with me? And I want to show the, you know, all we can come up with. It. And, and I said, Is it hibiscus flower? Yeah. Um, I never thought it was one. Never have seen. I've never seen it with. So what exactly will we be doing with this, with this flower pot? Okay. This. How do? How we discover this? It was. Uh, I work with many indigenous communities in the country. One of them is in um, uh, Palawan, in Colón, is the Tapanua, is the uh, indigenous people from Busuanga. Uh, so we have a, a project with them, try to uh, document all of the traditional recipes that they have. So we worked with them in Christmas time, after New Year's, and we were talking with all the elders, you know, if they agree, you know, to work, you know, in this uh, a cultural project. So I was working around the, the, the village and then, you know, we saw many uh, hibiscus flowers, right? So we asked them, what do you do with this? They say, oh, we do a sour soup, similar like Senegal. And that, you know, it was an inspiration of a dish that we are going to cook tomorrow. 
it's gonna be not exactly the same as what we do in the restaurant we want to do it a little bit more uh, approach to the people cook at home and uh, but in, in the restaurant normally we do it with uh, lobster we're going to do it tomorrow with tiger prawns sustainable tiger prawns that we are going to send you and we are going to uh, join tomorrow so um it's just you know for me one of the biggest discoveries and something that changed the way i cook is you know the use of shower agents uh a lot of people who come to the restaurant say oh the food sometimes sometimes is a little sour yeah because it's how filipino personality food it is but you know i learned to use it in a way that have umami so I umami yes what is this word umami chef Umami is the, you know, when something tastes even more flavorful, you know, when it's a richness or actually I will describe umami when, when you have this, uh, this feeling here in the, in the, in your, in your throat, you know, they you have your tickles, you know, when something yes. makes, you know, something like tickles and, and until to your ears, you know, and it's not tasty and flavorful, <laughs> uh, we can call it umami. Oh yeah, okay. You're like your kiniki league, like your your palate is kiniki league. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, um, I can't wait to cook with you tomorrow, chef. Thank you okay. for this opportunity. Um, I would love to tell them more about your restaurant tomorrow yes. when we cook. Yes. Okay. You have a studio there. You have the most amazing science. <laughs> You're like a mad scientist. You're like. It's like every dish you make is like a poem. Like there's a story. Wow, thank you. Very you know, much. every dish you make, chef, the way you move in your kitchen, it's like you're performing. It's like you're telling a you're it's like a movie, you know, and I think what you do, I mean, what you do is absolutely it's brilliant. And and thank you for sharing your talent with us. Thank you for that beautiful words. I am an amateur. I am not a chef. You are the master chef, and I would love for you to teach me how to cook tomorrow. So thank you for joining us. We are going to have fun, 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 fun. I will have Chef Chella literally at home in my kitchen tomorrow. <laughs> thank you so very much. So everybody, if you want to join, all the followers we have followers from Singapore, we have people from Hong Kong, we have people from the U.S. and Canada watching. Um, please join us tomorrow in our kitchen for Kitchen Collab at 11 in the morning, Sunday, Philippine time. And all the ingredients are on the post. So if you want to cook along with us, get the ingredients. The hibiscus flour is normally used for tea. So anywhere you can find it, you can put it in, a, in our uh, uh, cooking tomorrow. And please join us. Chef Chele Gonzalez of Gallery by Chele is joining us for Kitchen Collab at 11 a.m. tomorrow. So.